avenue for X Squad and all the rest of us, man. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's all it's really doing. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm gonna be out here, and I'm gonna um, we gonna we, we gonna put our flag in the ground, and you know, before you know it, it'll be just like we did with Spreaker. We gonna take over. So it is what it is. One thing about our flag, it's going to stick in the ground because we're going to stick it in dirt, not like Mayfield putting and trying to put it in turf. <laughs> hey, exactly. And it's falling on the damn ground and shit. Hey, Chief. Hey, man, what do you think about that damn Blake Griffin trade, man? Oh, uh, man. I was just speaking on it, man, a little earlier. And uh, uh, and, your, and your counterpart in the Super Bowl talking about, oh, we ain't talking football. You know what I'm saying? And he can't even hear the show because, you know, he's at work, right? So, why is you worried about what people in the chat saying if you can't hear the show? Go back and listen to the show later. You know, I want him to call up, but he can't even do that. So, he just blew on all. He blew on the whole Super Bowl week of calling up. Maybe he can call Doug tonight, huh? But uh, on that great Blake Griffin trade, man, I was just talking about it, man. How you going to send a man that grew up in Oklahoma, played ball in Oklahoma, and been out in L.A. for all these years, man? How you going to go to Detroit? You know how cold it is in Detroit. Yeah, man. You know the team yeah, ain't that man. the team ain't that bad that they got. He may help them out. It all depends on if he can gel. Well, Drummond is not really a man that needs to touch the ball, so he'd be just like uh, DeAndre uh, Jordan was. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying like he, he's in the same situation that he was before because he got Drummond, and that was him. But they, they damn, they, well, they gave up Avery Bradley. They gave up to Tobias Harris. Like you giving up key players as 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 Detroit, and I get it to get to get Blake Griffin because you know Blake just got paid. So right. he's under contract, so it ain't like he really can do anything about it. He's gonna be there, you know. Shit, he's just gonna be there. But I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really like that as as De- uh, as a Detroit Piston um, fan. But at the same time, maybe they felt like they needed some star power up in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because um, when that when that crew that was taking them to playoffs and uh, shit. Um, championship games or either winning championships, man. When that whole crew was finally gone, man, shit, Detroit was like back to life, back to reality, man. You know, they've been slowly rebuilding. The thing where they fucked up at, and Isaiah Thomas mentioned it all the time, they shouldn't have never got rid of Joe Dumas because Joe Dumas was the man that brought in the pieces to make that thing. No, nah, they shouldn't have. They, they, they should. That, that was that was a big mistake by the organization, but um. Definitely, man. I don't know. Detroit might make. They might make the playoffs this year. I mean, they still. They 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 kept Reggie Jackson, right? Yeah, yeah. He just hurt right now. He should be yeah, back. Yeah, I know he hurt. Yeah, but yeah. I know they still. So they still got Reggie. I mean, if you really look at it, Detroit probably just felt like they need. Detroit is. A, is I think they in playoff position right now, and they don't even have no all stars, bro. Oh, like Matt Farrell. You were all star. Matt Farrell said that they gave up a first and second round pick also in that trade. Detroit. I don't think I don't think Blake Griffin is worth all that. No, he's not, man. Of course, you. If anything, you make that you, you make you make that type of trade for DeAndre Jordan and get rid of Drummond. You know, like because I know DeAndre ain't going to fill up this. He, he can't really create his own shot like Blake can. But at the same time, I think DeAndre is younger and DeAndre is relatively more healthier than Blake is. You know, Blake going to miss at least twenty games a season. Mm-hmm. Oh, but he's been lucky this year. I don't know. He must have went. And talk well, he, to, uh, he missed time this year too, but not as much time as he normally missed. When he goes he out, like he goes he out. Like twelve, fifteen games, bro. Well, well, Michael Way, you gotta look at his past yeah. history, though. When he went out, he went out. He went out. When he went out, he was gone. He was gone for true fifty or sixty games in a year, in a season. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. this is my thing. Uh, he must have went and seen Amadi Stoudemire. And he must have told him to go bathe in that wine and that to keep your goddamn <laughs> limbs right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, so so he probably be doing that wine diving and shit, man. But you know, for him to be as light skinned as he is, you know, he can't get in that wine too much because he be having stains on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he, he go in, he go in, he go in, light skin, come out red bone. Right, right. I mean, really red bone. So he got to get the, he got to get the light wine, you know. But they said oh, the best wine to uh, to bathe in is the, the the red wine, the dark wine, man. So 
I don't know, man. But um, what you feel about uh, the Clippers now, man? Being that this shit happened, man. Ah, uh, the Clippers. I actually think the Clippers are better off um, than they were before. Now, a lot of people look like, okay, well, here the Clippers are going to go back into the dump because they got rid of Blake Griffin. But they got Avery Badley. You get Tobias Harris. Now, Tobias Harris is going to be in a position to where he's going to get the ball a lot more. You know what I'm saying? And then they get a first round and a second round pick from, from, from Detroit. Now, who knows what that pick is going to be. But if you look at, you know, not to bring on my team, but if you look at the Lakers situation and getting Kyle Kuzma late in, 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 in the first round and stuff like that, there are plenty of gems. And this draft, this draft class is really going to be loaded, you know what I'm saying, with talent. So I think the Clippers are in a position to where they're – that was a Jerry West move right there. And, and anything Jerry West does, Chief, I'm not going to question because if you look at Jerry West, what, what he did for the Lakers, you look at Jerry West, what he done for Golden State, you can't right. question that man's decisions when, it, when it's time to trade a player or not trade a player like he didn't trade Clay Thompson. Oh, but you know something, Mike Wade? They're, they're not done because DeAndre Jordan, he may end up in Cleveland, Right. Uh, Lou Williams, I think they're going to send him somewhere, too. He may end up with DeAndre Jordan and Cleveland. So it's not done yet, man, because um, they serious about Kevin Love getting out of Cleveland. But, you know, you can't blame everything going on from Kevin Love. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, you know, saying, uh, shit, I blame Microwave for me not being able to do no shows. But shit, I'm gonna blame you, and I got my own shit here. You see what I'm saying? So how the fuck yeah, am I gonna blame exactly. you for not doing no show? So you know that's that's kind of fucked up, man. But that's two more pieces going. I think what they're trying to do is go with the young players they got on the team with Austin Rivers, and now they got Bradley. He gonna play good for Doc. He gonna be a defensive. They still gonna win some games, but they gonna be shit, 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 shit. But hold up, breaking news: what I got today. I don't know if Jeff Fox mentioned it on his show because I, I, I stepped out for a few minutes or so, but I don't think he mentioned it because I didn't see nothing in the chat. Uh, the latest on John Walls and the Wizards. Walls have a procedure on his sore knee. He may be out as much as two months. That team cannot stand that. You know what I'm saying? Because Bradley Bill is not the answer, Right? And who's going to be your point guard? Oh, they got a... Oh, who's the point guard? I forgot they got a good backup point guard, but he's young. He's young. I can't remember who they got, but they got a, a good backup point guard, but he's young. But that team right there, man, um, I can't never put my finger on what's the real problem with it. Is it the coach? Or is it, or is it that the players that's on the starting five need to be juggled? You know, somebody needs to come off the bench. What what you think it is, man? You watch him. Well, with Washington, what I really think it is is you 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 asking John Wall and Bradley Bill to be leaders, and I mean they what like twenty three, twenty four. So you asking two young guys to be leaders of teams, and they, there's really no veteran presence. Like I know Paul Pierce ain't playing no more, but you got to have a veteran guy in there, like a you know like a Paul Pierce or something like that, who can reel those guys in and tell them what they need to do because if you listen to the rumors the rumors say that it's players it's players on the team that's talking about goddamn Bradley Bill and John Wall so it ain't Bradley Bill talking about John but it's players talking about both of them and they're the only two all-stars on the team so everybody else talking about well you know they got their own agenda and they're not really right. and stuff like that but these dudes are young right. you know what I'm saying so the Washington I don't think they got the proper head coach to not have veteran presence in that locker room. I mean, Marcin Gortat, I mean, he's really not, you know, a veteran presence in that locker room. You know, you, it, 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 you need somebody like a Paul Pierce, like I said, or, or any type of veteran presence, uh, somebody who used to be the star, um, but is on a way, you know, on the downside, so they can reel those dudes in and let them know. Because it's a broke... Look, you know one thing, Chief? When it's uh, no matter no matter where you play, it don't matter the talent. If the locker room is broken, you're not good. Right. It don't matter how much talent you got. If the locker room is, 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 is bad, like look at the Giants. Giants had talent, yeah. Um, a lot of y'all, y'all had a lot of injury, but then when it started seeming like the locker room is bad, when you got cornerbacks right. on the other cornerbacks, that right. that's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? But then when you got a squad that where the best two players on your team don't get along with everyone else. 
That, that, yeah. that, that's a recipe for disaster. And I didn't think, you know, Washington was a team that should have took the leap last season. Right. And now, with all this shit that's coming out, you're starting to realize why they didn't take that leap last season and why they won't take that leap this season. And they're definitely not going to be able to do it without John Wall, man. Yo, you know what, man? Uh, uh, I was going to mention Gotak. And um, Clay Davis said Gotak is the um, oldest player on the team, right? So everybody else is young. And thank, welcome, Milk and Cookies, Denise, for coming in, that squad affiliate. Um, he's the oldest player, so everybody else is young, right? So do you think he got a role? Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Where the cookies and shit? Oh, Where she's down here? Shit? She's down here? <laughs> no, she down here. <laughs> yeah, that's my baby right there. Oh uh, man, uh, we got Mo Cheese in the house. What's up, Mo Cheese? And Seth Galloway, Vince Wright, Esquad affiliate, the governor. The governor usually have a show on Tuesday night. Gov, let me know if you're doing a show tonight. You know what I'm saying? Just push it back an hour if you. You know, fear that, you know, Doug coming on 7 to 10. Like I said, the Barbershop Sports Spartak coming on tonight. But, Microwave, you're going to be with me for a minute because we're going to get on the big game this week. But I just wanted to cover this it. basketball, man, because, like I, my title said, man, basketball's getting heated now, man, because you have a lot of teams, man. Uh, look at that um, uh, Minnesota team, even though they lost here last night to the uh, Hawks, right? They was up by 10 uh, almost at the end of the third quarter, and they just started. You know, you know how teams just feel that, you know, this is my night. This team right here, why are we on the court with them? That's what they felt about the, the Hawks. Game, the game was here, though, wasn't it? Yeah, but see, they felt that they can run over yeah, the Hawks. Yeah, so, 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 so the night before, let me tell you something. They're uh-huh. in Minnesota. And, and, you know, I know Minnesota's a great state. We got RC out there. We got Vince right out there. But they're in Minnesota, and they came to Atlanta. Yeah, uh, you 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 know you know they was partying. You, you know they was partying. Right, right. Mag- Magic City. And they showed City, up huh? late in the game. Yeah, they showed up late in the game. Yeah, you know everybody take that Magic City or either that um uh what's that spot that Doug and used to always go to um, with the radio station uh, on um. It's on. Uh, I don't know. Hey, you can you can pick one out here. This yeah. is Atlanta. This is. Yeah, it's like the strip that uh, between Atlanta and Miami is it's, it's a strip, yeah. it's a stripper capital. Yeah, Mr. Harper's in the chat room. The shoe model, the shoe model, yeah, the shoe yeah, model, shoe model. Not, uh, yeah, cap, yeah, capital, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I don't know, I, I don't know about no stripping, but I, I know there's a lot of shoes out there, and they be modeling and shit, you know. Yeah, you got to model the shoes. If you don't model yeah. the shoes, ain't nobody gonna walk by them. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But uh, yeah, man, uh, um, the NBA and, and check this out, man. Um, I heard of, uh, t- check out the players, because oh, you know your boy, our boy, Pazinga said that, he with the ownership said, listen man, if y'all going to get rid of players, get rid of players and bring back something. I want to go to the playoff this year. You know what I'm saying? And he played a hell of a yeah. fine game against Phoenix, right? Uh, but I'm going to tell you who we picked up, and he was on the D-League most of the season, right? Uh, the boy um, Birch that used to play with Utah. I'm trying to think of his first name. God damn Trey, it. Trey Burks. Trey Burks. Trey Burks. Yeah. Trey Burks. Trey Burks on fire. So that means Jared Jack's going to get traded. Uh, Golden State want um, O'Quinn. Uh, Ennis Cantor, he's definitely gone because uh, Pazingas can play in the middle and then we got Hernandez can come off the bench, right? Um, who else they said getting traded, man? And Courtney Lee is wanted by. Um, uh, who he's wanted by a playoff team? I can't think what team won him, but yeah, man, um, we we definitely we definitely about to make some moves. Uh, here goes Mr. Harper. Chris Stock is going to leave New York high and dry. Ha ha ha! He ain't going to the sorry ass Lakers if he did that. Uh, first of all, first and foremost, Mr. Harper, right? You don't know nothing about what's going on in New York. That's for one. For two, right? He would be a fool if he left New York because he would not get the money he's going to get from New York. Because between Nike and the Knicks, that man is going to be one of the highest paid person in basketball. And take that right now. Take it down. What Puffy said, take that, take that. <laughs> take that, take that, take that. But, but uh, well, speaking of Chris, though, um, Chief, yeah. uh, he's still in the contract for a couple more seasons. And what they get, five, is, is it five or seven? It's seven years in the NBA. Right. So he's still got it's only his third year. He's still got oh, three yeah. more years before he can say 
Anything. You guys better trade me or you're going to lose me for nothing.